Hello students, <clears throat> today we will start our first chapter of light, reflection and refraction. Now we will start from some questions related to light, like what is light, can light be destroyed and so on. So our first question, what is light? Definitely light is a form of energy light is a form of energy next question what is light made of light is made of photons what can light do light can expand and radiate yani ki wo phailti hai ya radiate hoti hai uh, aapko radiation ke bare mein pata hi hoga theek hai na radiate karti hai next question where does light come from Maybe directly or indirectly from the sun. कहाँ से आती है Sun से आती है Can light be destroyed? Definitely light can be destroyed due to the presence of photons. Now last question that is light in physics. Our first question is what is light? That is a form of energy but in physics light is electromagnetic wave. Light is electromagnetic wave. Is that clear? Now come to the definition of light. Did you remember the definition of light? Definitely light is a form of energy that causes in us sensation of vision. We have a sense organ that is eye but only with the help of eye we can't see any object we need the source of light to see any object that's why light is very important for us in our daily life to see any object so this is the definition of light if there is light and light is a form of energy that means there are some sources of light also so come to the sources of light there are two types of sources of light first one is natural sources and second one is man made sources the examples of natural sources are sun lightning twinkling of stars these are the examples of natural sources what about man made sources definitely lamp torch candle are the examples of man made sources these are the sources of light uh, may be natural or man made all these sources are also called luminous object so now come to the luminous object and non luminous object what are luminous object those objects which emits their own light those objects which emits their own light are called luminous object and those objects which does not emit their own light are called non luminous objects in this pictures there are some examples or some objects some of them are luminous object and some of them are non luminous object like mirror firework tv lightning diamond moon and so on so we select some luminous object and some of them non luminous object so firework tv lightning candles are the example of luminous object whereas mirror moon diamond glass window are the examples of non luminous object apne class 8th mein bhi padha hai luminous object and non luminous object is that clear but there are limited luminous objects is that clear there are limited luminous objects now i have one question related to light if light expand or radiate to kya radiate hone ke liye light ko kisi medium ki zarurat hogi so question for you that is does light need a medium to travel 
क्या लाइट को ट्रैवल करने के लिए किसी मीडियम की जरूरत पड़ती है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज मीडियम मीडियम इज मटेरियल मे बी सॉलिड लिक्विड और गैस मे बी सॉलिड लिक्विड और गैस लाइक साउंड नीड्स सम मटेरियल साउंड नीड्स सम मटेरियल फॉर ट्रेवलिंग बट लाइट वट अबाउट लाइट लाइट डज नॉट नीड एनी मीडियम टू ट्रेवल लाइट डज नॉट नीड अ मीडियम टू ट्रेवल ड्यू टू द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेब ड्यू टू द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेब इज दैट क्लियर लाइट को किसी भी मीडियम की जरूरत नहीं होती है ड्यू टू द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इज मच हायर देन द स्पीड ऑफ साउंड दैट मीन्स लाइट डज नॉट नीड एनी मीडियम दैट मीन्स इट ट्रेवल्स इन वैक्यूम ऑल्सो लाइट वैक्यूम में भी ट्रेवल कर सकती है and the speed of light in vacuum or in air is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second the speed of light in different medium are different is that clear the speed of light in uh, solids uh, about to be 2.25 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second and in liquid uh, 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second that clear if light is energy that means it also having their nature now come to the nature of light nature of light there are two theories about the nature of light there are two theories about nature of light first one is wave theory and second one is particle theory first one is wave theory second one is particle theory in wave theory consists of electromagnetic wave wave theory mein electromagnetic waves ki hum baat karte hain but in particle theory hum particles se related baat karte hain ya hum particle theory ko explain kar sakte hain these two theory having some phenomena in wave theory there are three phenomena that is diffraction interference and what third one is polarization all these three phenomena explained only with wave theory can you see first picture this is the diffraction of light जिसे हम एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं विद दी हेल्प ऑफ वेव थ्योरी विद दी हेल्प ऑफ वेव थ्योरी देख रहे हैं यहाँ पर एक सिंगल वाइट लाइट आ रही है और ये एक्सपांड होती है और इसकी वेव लेंथ में चेंज आ जाता है इंटरफेरेंस किसी चीज़ की दखल अंदाजी करना ठीक है यहाँ पर भी हम देख रहे हैं एक हॉरिजोंटल वेव बन रही है एक वर्टिकल वेव बन रही है और इसे हम क्या कर रहे हैं पोलराइज कर रहे हैं एंड दिस पोलराइजेशन इज एक्सप्लेन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेव थ्योरी इन तीनों ही फिनोमिना को हम कैसे याद रख सकते हैं आई थिंक एवरीवन डिप द बिस्किट इन मिल्क और टी डिप डी आई पी डी फॉर डिफ्रैक्शन आई फॉर इंटरफ्रेंस एंड पी फॉर पोलराइजेशन now come to the phenomena which explained with the help of particle theory and i think you know about this phenomena that is casting of shadow a reflection of light and refraction of light all these three phenomena explained with the help of particle theory i think you know about casting of shadow parchai okay and we will learn about reflection and refraction 
<coughs> so these are the phenomena related to wave theory and particle theory is there any other theory other than this two theories and definitely third theory that is modern theory or also called dual theory about the nature of light and the name of this dual theory or modern theory is quantum theory of light this is the third theory of light or the third theory about the nature of light that is quantum theory of light okay now come to the ray and beam okay what is ray you know ray of light this is the example aap logo ne maths mein dekha hi hoga line segment line ray just like this ray uh, this is the ray of light uh, and uh, uh, this is the beam of light what is beam of light collection or group of rays is that clear जहाँ पर हम कलेक्शन लेते हैं किसी रेज का या एक ग्रुप की बात करते हैं हम रेज की दिस इज द बीम ऑफ लाइट देर आर सम टाइप्स ऑफ बीम ऑफ लाइट सो इफ यू कंसिडर दिस पॉइंट इफ यू कंसिडर दिस पॉइंट एंड द रेज कम्स टूगेदर एट दैट पॉइंट एंड दिस इज द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बीम ऑफ लाइट वेयर Uh, the rays of light is spread out from the point and this is the third example of beam of light uh kya aap uh, inke naam bata sakte hain ha uh, definitely i think uh, you have uh, one name and this is the third one uh type of beam that is parallel beam that is parallel beam is that clear i know you all know about the name of this third type of beam that is parallel beam what about first and second types of beam here in first type in first type all the rays comes together at a point that means this beam of light this beam of light is called convergent convergent beam of light what about second here all the rays are spread out from that point so this is called divergent beam is that clear there are three types of beam that is convergent beam divergent beam and parallel beam now come to the reflection of light reflection of light what is reflection of light what is reflection of light so the process of sending back the process of sending back the light rays which fall on the surface of an object is called reflection of light ek aisi process jahan se ray of light क्या करती है वापस आती है जिस भी ऑब्जेक्ट के सरफेस पर कोई रे ऑफ लाइट यदि जाती है वहां से वो सेंड बैक हो जाती है उसे ही हम क्या बोलते हैं रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट बोलते हैं इज दैट क्लियर द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेंडिंग बैक द लाइट रेज व्हिच फॉल ऑन द सरफेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज कॉल्ड रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट और bouncing back of light or bouncing back of light just like a ball just like a ball if we throw a ball in any wall it bounce back or reflect is that clear so this is the reflection of light now i have a question for you does light reflect mirror and paper in same way ठीक है क्या लाइट मिरर और पेपर में सेम वे में ही रिफ्लेक्ट हो जाती है डेफिनेटली नो एंड द रीजन बिहाइंड दैट इज मिरर मिरर 
has a smooth surface mirror has a smooth surface but paper has a rough surface so in mirror or in a smooth surface beam of light remains parallel after reflection jab ye rays aati hain aur iske surface par takrati hai after reflection the beam of the beam of light remains parallel is picture mein dikh raha hai aapko yahan par ye jo lines hain wo abhi bhi parallel hi hai after reflection but what about in paper paper has rough surface or irregular or scattered or diffused that means the beam of light after reflection is scattered or irregular beam of light does not remains parallel in rough surface so the answer of this question is no due to the surface in mirror a smooth surface but paper has a rough surface that means light does not reflects from mirror and paper in same way yani ki kisi bhi अनइवन सरफेस की बात करें या रफ सरफेस की बात करें तो वहाँ से लाइट कभी भी या बीम ऑफ लाइट हमें कभी भी आफ्टर रिफ्लेक्शन पैरल नहीं मिलती है इज दैट क्लियर ओके नाउ कम टू द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्लेक्ट होती है दैट मीन्स उसके कुछ ना कुछ लॉज भी होंगे उन लॉज को फॉलो करेगी वो और कुछ ना कुछ हर चीज़ के रूल्स होते हैं Is that clear? So there are two laws of reflection of light. First law of reflection: uh, the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal. At the point of incidence, all lie in the same plane. You know what is plane? And definitely, uh, one of the wall in a room is a plane, and other wall is other plane. two different walls are not same plane is that clear that means the incident ray what is incident ray jo aane wali ray hoti hai the ray of light comes from a source of light is called incident ray the ray of light comes from source of light is called incident ray and this ray falls on the surface of this ray falls on the surface of object and it sent back this ray is called reflected ray what about normal at the point of incidence this normal is also called principal axis which is perpendicular to the surface of object this normal is also called principal axis and this is perpendicular to the surface of object and all these three that means incident ray reflected ray and normal lie in the same plane what about second law of reflection the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection and what about incidence angle and reflection angle or reflected angle the angle between the angle between incident ray and normal is called angle of incidence and the angle between reflected ray and normal is called angle of reflection now look at the picture if we take a plain glass if we take a flat glass and paint it at back side of the plain glass इट विल कन्वर्ट इन टू अर मिरर जब हम एक प्लेन ग्लास लेते हैं उसके पीछे एक सिल्वर पेंट कर देते हैं और एक रेड पेंट कर देते हैं तो वो एक मिरर में कन्वर्ट हो जाता है इज दैट क्लियर नाउ दिस इज द इंसिडेंट रे कम्स फ्रॉम अ सोर्स ऑफ लाइट एंड इट फॉल्स ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ दिस प्लेन मिरर और फ्लैट मिरर इट विल रिफ्लेक्ट इट विल रिफ्लेक्ट and what about normal or principal axis this is the principal axis which is perpendicular which is perpendicular to the flat mirror 
which is perpendicular to the flat mirror. As we know, the angle between this incidence ray, the angle between this incidence ray and normal is called angle of incidence, which is denoted by i, a small i, which is denoted by a small i. And second angle, that is the angle of re reflection, the angle between reflected ray, the angle between reflected ray and normal is called angle of reflection, which is denoted by angle r. So according to second law of reflection, angle i is always equal to angle r. These two laws, these two laws follow in the reflection of light. Kya yehi laws mare uneven ya rough surface par bhi follow karte hain? Definitely. These laws obeys on the rough surface also. Is that clear? Abhi jab hum aage padhenge, usse aur achche se explain karenge. Is that clear? So, first of all, you remember all these two laws of reflection of light. That is, uh, all the three, that is, incident ray, reflected ray and normal lie on the same plane. And angle I is always equal to the angle R. Is that clear? Now, come to the objects and images. You know about objects? I think you know very well what are objects. Everything around us are the objects like this table chair, chalkboard, bag, torch, candle. Some of them are luminous and some of them are non-luminous. Gives out light rays. Yeah. table chair to open light But they reflect the light. That's why these all are objects. What about image? Okay. Images are optical appearance. Is that clear? Images are optical appearance. Images kya hai? Optical appearance hai. There are two types of images. First one is real image and second one is virtual image. Okay? Jo image hume screen mein dikhti hai. Chika na? Jab hum theater mein movie dikhti hai. Us screen mein jo hume images dikhti hai. This is the example of real image. और जो इमेज हम मिरर में देखते हैं वो हमारी कौन सी इमेज होती है वर्चुअल इमेज होती है ठीक है ना तो मिरर में जो हम देखते हैं वो रियल वर्ल्ड में नहीं होती है इज दैट क्लियर इट इज द बैक साइड ऑफ द मिरर इज दैट क्लियर ऐसे हम आगे और अच्छे से एक्सप्लेन करेंगे इज दैट क्लियर नाउ नेक्स्ट आप लोगों के लिए एक वर्क है आप घर पर मिरर के सामने खड़े होकर अपने डिस्टेंस को अपनी पोजीशन को चेंज कर कर अपनी इमेज को देखेंगे ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट यू टेक अ स्पून और अ शाइनी स्पून और उसके आगे और पीछे अपनी इमेज को देखने की कोशिश करेंगे हमारा चेहरा बहुत बड़ा है इसलिए शायद उस छोटे स्पून में बहुत अच्छे से क्लियर भी ना आए तो आप एक कोई छोटा ऑब्जेक्ट या पेन के टिप या पेंसिल के टिप को एक बार ज़रूर देखने की कोशिश करें कैसी इमेज आपको दिखती है इज दैट क्लियर और नेक्स्ट वीडियो में हम फिर वापस से इन्हीं टॉपिक्स पर बात करने वाले हैं तो इसे आप बहुत अच्छे से रीड कर कर और नेक्स्ट टॉपिक के लिए जो मैंने बताया है प्लेन मिरर्स और स्फेरिकल मिरर्स के बारे में हम बात करने वाले हैं जिसका एग्जांपल मैंने आपको बोला है कि स्पून में आप इमेजेस को देखने की कोशिश करेंगे कि किस टाइप की इमेज उसमें बनती है इज़ दैट क्लियर ओके थैंक यू